So this is the first time that I played Brain Bread 2. Uh, I haven't seen Brain Bread 1, but it definitely falls into that uh, zombie shooter survival genre. Uh, it's currently on Steam as Early Access. I believe having been approved through the green light process. So I think that's what this community hub icon is. Uh, but I haven't seen much of the game at all, uh, other than to note that it's receiving mixed reviews. There's some complaints about functionality and control, uh, so I'm curious to see how it compares to some of the others. I'm not a huge follower of the zombie genre, uh, but there is a certain appeal to the of survival element, uh, post-apocalyptic storyline. Uh, there's something in that, I think, that appeals to, well, a vast percentage of the populace, uh, based on kind of movies and books and games that follow this same theme. Hello, and welcome to the Brain Bread 2 tutorial. I'm here to help you learn the very basics of the game. This part of the tutorial is the human training. <laughs> now, let me remove the barrier in front of you so you can continue. <laughs> <laughs> Some, uh, fists there. Uh, oh, that's a little gross. Look like a liver or something. <laughs> wow! That'd be really cool if sparks came out when you punch things. Fat. I don't think I'd want to drink something called that. Can I open that? Huh. That seems like poor punching technique if you punch and a handprint appears. Shouldn't it be a fist print? This feels like a bad version of Half-Life. Now I pretty much just want to punch everything. I know, I know. The basic movement training. But we gotta do it, alright? We have to make sure you know all the controls before jumping into a gunfight. Or, well, a zombie fight. Anyway, let's continue. I'll remove the barrier now. I don't think from one barrier to the next this was actually needed. It's not like they gave me a tutorial on anything. Alright, so I think they're trying to just create atmosphere, but... Crouch under the vent! Okay, this guy's a little bossy. Crouch under the vent! Okay. Nice work! <laughs> he sounds angry. Maybe he's constipated. That would make me angry. Climb up this ladder! Climb up this ladder! Oh my god. Seriously, dude, calm down. Jump over the gap! Okay, well, just a minute. I want to, I want to punch this paper towel. <sighs> Jumping skills suck. Really suck. This doesn't mean I'm gonna die. Or did they uh, nerf death for the tutorial? How do I speed up? Can I run? Nice work. Now, for some of the tricky parts, here you need to jump crouch. <sighs> jump crouch. Nice work. Ugh. Okay, I'm already disliking this game. Use your sliding ability. Can't make the gap? Then spend some points on the sliding ability by hitting F1 to pull up your perk selection screen. F1. Slide. Is that really the way they choose to uh, instruct? F1 jump. Hmm. 
Lights, reflexes, lightweight, painkiller, proficiencies. It's all good, but I'd like to see its usefulness. Ugh, I don't even want to go through this tutorial. It's so awkward. <laughs> I mean, who walks with their fists like that? This isn't going to happen. Okay. Create game. Let's just have a look. So you know what? I, I think I'm done. Uh, it's a bad sign when I can't even get through a tutorial. So that's it guys. Sorry to disappoint if that was in fact a disappointment. Uh, but wow, I am not going to play that game again. <laughs>